Batman, my hero. Um, probably shouldn't do this right now because it sounds like the neighbors have started setting off fireworks. There you go. I don't know if you can hear that. Apparently, this weekend is July 4th. Who would have thought? So, this is my brand new Batman Artifacts Plus statue. One tenth scale pre painted figure by Kodubukia. Um, quick look at the side of the box. Neat little drawing of Batman. The other side, I actually like this better. Just that it's got the symbol. I don't remember if I actually talked about the box on Superman. I think I just flipped, spun it around really quick and ripped him out. Uh, Justice League. Isn't that great? Um, let's get him out of here because I didn't buy this for the box. I bought it for the guy inside. And I do wonder if I should even bother keeping that box. I try to keep the packaging for my more expensive toys in case I have to move like I just did. So, out falls Batman. And he's wrapped in plastic. This is Batman in his new 52 costume, which I believe I mentioned in the Superman review. I don't read the comics anymore. Um, I was never a big comic book reader. Um, but I... I more than I like the costumes, I like what I have seen of these guys displayed together. I like the unified look of the several statues displayed together. Nice metallic -y sheens. I should bring out Superman and compare him next to this guy. Batman. I dig that Batman is in armor. It has always made more sense to me that Batman would wear armor because he's going up and fighting people face to face, hand to hand. And he's just a guy who keeps himself fit and strong, yes, but he's not impervious to bullets like certain Kryptonians. He's not, uh, you know, magical made by a Greek god like Wonder Woman. So why wouldn't the guy wear armor? It looks good. It looks like there's some sort of scale mail or some sort of undersuit underneath all the armor. I dig the lines, the way that they did kind of make this look like jointed, segmented armor. The sculpting on this is pretty good. Um, can't pull it up closer to my eye because then you won't be able to see. The boots make it look like rather than black, it's a little bit of a sparkly black. There's the magnets in his feet. And Batman sits nice and flush. And his cape also sits on the base in a nice way. It gives him some added stability as long as it's not pushing him over forward. It's perfect. This guy is great. In fact, it's so great, I, I wish it was articulated. But it looks good. Um, let me run get Superman. Favorite best bros. Superman and Batman. And, frankly, I think they look good together. Um, Forty, forty-five-ish retail on these. Maybe a little expensive for a seven-inch statue, but really good detail. Really, really good paint. Um, I don't have any complaints about these two, so thumbs up from me.